Matt Linehan for Boxing Social in association with William Hill and Empire Fight Store. Oh, you're Matt M Minahan. Okay. Linehan, not Lin Minahan. Lin Linehan. Ah, I didn't know. Delighted to be joined by Showtime Sean Porter. Sean, we spoke, I think it was only about a month ago about this fight, but it's fight week now. I know you were sort of like tossing and turning on your opinion about what's going to happen in this fight. And as someone who shared the ring with both, now that we're on fight week, edging closer to Saturday night, have you got an opinion on what you think is going to happen? No, I'm still tossing and turning. You know, I think I, I, I've actually come to the point where I'm just like, I just want to see, I just want to see the first round. And I think that of which the three rounds, maybe four, we'll have a better understanding as to how the fight could go. We've seen Terrence do different things, middle fight, third half of the fight, or third third of the fight, uh, back third of the fight. We've seen Errol, especially with that fight where you're Dennis, six rounds in and he just completely flipped it, you know what I mean? So what, what can you do, man? I'm tired of, I don't want to predict anything. <laughs> well, I spoke to Freddie Roach and I asked him, do you think the way that um, a Terence Crawford can, like in your fight, sorry to bring it up, where he just went, you know what, I need to change, change it up. Do you think that would be a difference in this fight? Or do you think that people overlook the fact that Errol Spence against Ugas took that shot, his gum shot came out, and he bit down, carried on, and then put it back on Ugas back end? Do you think people are overlooking that in this fight? I, I don't think either of those moments happen, to be honest with you. I don't think it's going to be a thing where... You know, you go to the corner and you and you get an amazing sound bite that you never get. You know, that was a great moment for boxing and a great moment for Eric, for Terrence to have that sound bite of him seemingly turning it up. I think if you look look back at that fight, you'll see that he starts to try to push forward maybe two or three rounds before that round happens, that or that moment happens in that round. The other side of that, I don't think that Terrence will be having his way against Arrow in the fact in the, in the in the way that Arrow's gonna say, all right, put my my earmuffs on, I'm coming at right after this guy, and I'm digging in, digging deep. I think that both of these guys are gonna have to be very smart, very accurate, upwards to 10 to 12 rounds of this fight. There's been a lot of talk of that there'll be a rematch to this. I think depending on how this fight goes, I mean if there's a if there's a knockout, you know, a blistering knockout where it leaves no doubt, maybe not, but do you think that we're heading towards that uh, maybe that or a trilogy I that's, mean that's what I hope for I hope for for uh, this one to be so great so close so phenomenal that people say man excuse me say man I want to see that one again and then you know we, we saw something crazy happen with Tyson Fury and, and, and Deontay Wilder I, 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 I'm, in, I'm in for the surprises I like them I've just looked and apparently one of the judges who was judging the Cambosis Hughes fight is doing this fight. It was quite a controversial ending in many people's opinion. I know there's a few who said it was a close fight. Do you have any sort of concerns when you think when this goes to the scorecards, we want uh, that the, the person who actually wins, wins the fight? Do you have them concerns? You, you, you always have to have concerns. Um, you have to understand where these people don't come from. And no disrespect to any commissions whatsoever, but the, a, a majority of the of the people involved with the commissions don't come from boxing. They don't have boxing backgrounds. They aren't at boxing gyms weekly, daily, monthly, anything like that. The best thing you can do with this fight right here is get who you consider to be the best judges. And you should be getting the best judges in the world for this one. I would pay to have judges from other countries come over here to judge this fight. People that I have had conversation you should be interviewed <laughs> uh, uh, before you before you were picked to, selected to judge this fight you should go through an entire interview find out where your stance is find out how many of these fights you saw where you were with these fights we need com complete transparency were you ever intoxicated watching either of these fights? you need to because that's how important this fight is that's how important the decision of this fight is going to be when you look at the state of judging, when we do see these cards that we look at and go, one's a draw, one's 117, one eleven. Do at some point we get to speak to you guys after fights, even when you've had some of the you know back and forth wars, and you know, do we now need to say, look, judges, let's let's do an interview. Tell me how you got from A to B, and guy across the ring got to A to Z. Do we need to start doing that so that they can be held accountable or does that just need to be taken care of internally by whoever's providing these guys? No, I mean, the number one word you just used is accountability. 
Uh, there's accountability in every facet of the world. Everything that goes on in this world, there's accountability attached to it. And somehow, some way, there's no accountability attached to boxing. So you obviously opened up another can of worms here. But yeah, I think to keep it plain and simple, there needs to be accountability all, all the way around the board. Let's talk about the quote unquote status, pound for pound number one. I see a lot of people of this past week and I don't particularly blame them saying, in New the monster is pound for pound number one. But when you look at the resumes of a Crawford, multi-weight world champion over the years, Errol Spence, what he's done in the welterweight division since, you know, even before the likes of a Kell Brook, to me, I would say maybe when you look at the resume of Inoue, it won't match up to these two guys. Is this the fight that decides who is number one, best in the world? I do. I think that this is number one A, number one B. After this fight, I do think that it's just it's number one and number two in the world. I think NUA is that's respectful, very respectful for him to be right there in the number three spot. Something crazy happens. We don't see something that we expect to see from one of these fighters. They underperform. Then, yeah, you can say, hey, this guy may not deserve to be in the top five. But I think right now, man, I think it's safe to say that these are the number one and two best fighters in the world. So many good fights to make in boxing. I think this is one of them special years where boxing, when we think it's going through a lull, has just said, we're still here. What fight, if you could make any in boxing right now? Because obviously we're getting to see this, which is what we all wanted. We're getting to see potentially two good heavyweight fights by the end of, I'd say, February next year. What fight would you want to make now? Devin Haney, Shakur, there's so many fights. Javante, what, what do you want to see? I'm really not sure. I'm, uh, I usually just wait on them to be announced. and. You're not like You've got free reign. You've got free reign. I'm not really a matchmaker. It's, it's hard to really say. Um, I can definitely say that there's a few fighters that I'm looking forward to seeing. Bubu Andre, most underrated boxer in the world. I look forward to seeing him back in the ring. Um, definitely would love to see Shakur Stevenson and Tank Davis. Yeah. Sign me up for that. Look, um, Sean, I appreciate your time. Thanks for always talking to Boxing Social. Always gives me your time, and we catch up again hopefully sometime soon. I'll see you later, Matt.